Senior prank or criminal act? That's the question tonight as Auburndale police officers are trying to find out who applied glue to more than 20 door locks at the high school. We need to take a look at some of these photos. The locks are now completely ruined. And ABC Action News reporter Ryan Raish has the evidence and the surveillance pictures that caught them in the act. Ryan? <laughs> But yeah, it appears these vandals or pranksters in this case use something like this. This is called steel stick, steel reinforced epoxy putty. Look at that world's strongest bond. You can find this almost anywhere. I bought this for six bucks. It's kind of messy and easy to apply. The thing is, once it dries, it's almost impossible to undo. And you can see the putty in it right here. Kids may see it as an innocent senior prank, but when 23 locks are filled with epoxy glue and rendered useless, your joke probably crosses the line. It went beyond a prank to an actual criminal offense. Auburndale police are now trying to track down the vandals, believed to be two teen boys seen here on these grainy surveillance pictures. They arrived on campus late Saturday night and got busy filling most of the locks around the building where seniors have class. In this case, I know it seems pretty harmless to put putty in into a, a lock, but when that happens, somebody's got to come clean it up, and that putty's going to harden in there, which is what happened. Sunday morning, a teacher arrived to get some work done and couldn't get her key in. Monday, a locksmith spent most of the day trying to make repairs, but determined nothing could be done. All 23 locks need to be replaced. It'll cost roughly 100 bucks a lock. I think it's terrible because somebody has to pay for it. Parents today chalking it up as kids being kids, but going too far. I think it's a senior prank, but I think they did not think it through. Crime Stoppers is now offering a cash reward for information leading to an arrest. Investigators say it will be up to the school on whether to press charges against what may be two kids just days away from graduation. It was funny to them, um, and it's probably funny to some other kids, but, um, but it, it costs money to fix, and that makes it a crime. All right, we did a little experiment of our own right before we went on the air. I applied some of this putty to an old cookbook I had laying around. I'm not going to use it anymore. It's almost hardened already. This was just a few minutes before we went on, so you can see how hard it is to remove. It's possible that the kids didn't know it would be that difficult to remove this stuff, but it's still a crime and still a big mess. Live in Auburndale, Ryan Ray, ABC Action News.